would kill each other and the cities would burn down you know it kind of sucks but now with the tribal guardian with two uh, strength and plus 200 percent city defense your cities your first ones which is the only time they can be built um well allow you to get big enough so they aren't immediately burned down when you capture an enemy sieve so let us start our next turn actually let's just go through all the shiny things now as i was saying before the bug options uh this is a lot of things minimize ai turn time kind of makes it a little bit faster um so we have all these little shiny things uh, also works with the user interface so let's kind of go let's click through it um do, 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 do. credits yes these are the guys that you gotta love i i, I don't care who you are but these guys brought out to you and everyone else and then you go through all the other mods that are put in hey I, I just shout out to everyone on this list here and everyone in the community now civics we have quite a bit over here now we don't really have much of an option to start with but as we progress we will have more and more now <clears throat> We go through the government, the power of the government, so the society, how it's run, the economy, how you make money, your military, your relig how you treat religion, welfare, garbage, immigration, education, language, and agriculture. Now we don't have any choices for now, but as we progress, as I was saying before, we can and choose. Now, oh, here we go. Technology. I might as well choose my tech path right now. This will allow us to use a certain game function of hunting animals as fast as we can. It's going to take a while for us to get there, but it'll be well worth it in the end. Now, we have 7,200 turns before the end of the game, and our victory conditions mean anything. Now, Depending on how my next many turns turn out, I will choose something different. Usually, I, I tend to uh, either go and beeline for hard hammer production, percussion for more production buildings, and the military unit, the clubman. But if we're doing okay, we can also just streamline right into uh, persistent hunting and tracking. But I think I'll go hard hammer percussion first because we need the uh, clubman guys and start pumping them out uh, okay I think I should well let's go through all the religions yes we have quite a few now and they're each rather special in their own way we have Judaism Christianity Islam Hinduism Buddhism Confucianism Taoism Zoroastri Zoroastrianism oh dear how do I pronounce that Baha'i, Indianism, uh, Gaiism, uh, Kemetism, Hellenism, Nagluism, Mormon, Yoruba, Dangriism, Shinto, Voodoo, Asatru, Druidic Traditions, Shamanism, Mesopotamianism, yeah, we want to get this. This is a great one. Scientology, yes, that. Jainism and Sikhism. Right now we are pagans. That's unfortunate. Actually, we're not really pagans. Pagans would be uh, the Druidic tradition in the Christian sense, I'd imagine. So we just kind of all willy-nilly about our things. Now, we can't really do much about espionage for now because we're not civilized yet, but we do know about Gilgamesh. So we are now going to end our turn and advance because that is what we are going to do for a very long time as I stretch. <sighs> Already, man. Oh dear, he is probably the most dead of men. Why can't I move him? You already move? Huh. Uh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to save. I This was my test run before, don't need it anymore. So I'll save over it. Yes, I. I think I've mentioned who I am. I'm Acularius on the forums, uh, Sifanatics, but I tend to just lurk in uh, 
gave him into Cosmos mostly. Uh, so, let's go to the world builder. Let us show you the very shiny map. Now, does anyone know the reference of why I say shiny a lot? That would be pretty spectacular, and you'll probably be my best friend. Now, here we are. World map, this is our Persia. From the start. Uh, the mountain ranges, we're going to have to take advantage. I'm going to ignore the tribal villages. I know where they are, but I'd rather not get reminded. So here we have India. Bangladesh, we recently fixed up. Uh, India, the Cholas. Cholan. Uh, Siam. Khmer. Uh, we have the Yu tribe, which is essentially repurposed China. Uh, the Yangshao, which is a new sieve. And Korea, Japan, the Ainu. Yes, we have Japan. Where all my anime and manga comes from, I think. How much do they outsource now? Anyway, uh, we have Sumeria, Babylon, and Assyria. We also have the Hittite in uh, Eastern Anatolia. And we also have the Byzantines in Constantinople, Istanbul, uh, the Greeks in Athens. Uh, we have the Romans, which unfortunately, you know, could have been played, but as you see, easily defensible. You have so many hills, it, it, it's it's ridiculously easy. Hell, my one test run is Rome. This became four, so it was like, bam. Um, we have the Celts, the French, the Spanish, and the Portuguese. And we have the English up here. Now, the English were given some bonuses to help out because it's it's a long time before you get boats. Very long time. The Vikings, uh, the Russians, the Huns, the Shuanu, Shurnu. Um, we have the Uzbeks. I, they were originally the Turks, but I think the Uzbeks will fit better there in uh, Central Asia. We have the Mongolians. And now we're back to where we had started. Now we have the orig orig Aborigines in Australia. And I believe that is all the old world. No. We have Israel over here in the Levant. We have Egypt further down the Nile. And even further, Ethiopia. Uh, this would be the Swahili tribe. Uh, that was Philip Shal's uh, innovation. Props to the men. Uh, this is uh, the Zulu down here. We have the Congoese, the Mali, and Carthage. Now let's go to the New World, which has also had a touch up here and there. We have the Iroquois. I believe that this is Cherokee. This is the Apache tribe. I believe these are two variants of the similar tribes, uh, the Sioux and the Lower Sioux, or vice versa. We have the lovely Rockies. We have my home area around here. Uh, we have the Aztecs in Mexico. We have the Mayans in Central America. And we, so we slowly work our way down to South America. We have the Tupi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, T-U-P-I. Uh, and we have the Incas in Peru. Now that is all I can really show. We have a lot of fancy things. And Chinese. Now, let's get this game going. I'm going to pause briefly here and reload up the game so I can actually get a victory condition. So, I'll be right back. On the load up of everything, it will tell you your game options. So, this will always pop up. You just hit OK all the time. Yes. So, we're back. And that... Uh, Poor stone thrower is probably not gonna live to see the end. No, the AI's got us around and destroyed bonus himself. So, he's a very dead man. What else does Persia have? I will never know now. Because he is a very dead man. And let's not take uh, train damage. All this desert salt flats uh, hurts. So, avoid it at all times. So we have our native culture being built. And past that, I think I'll build a route. But for now, we'll just uh, go through our turns. Uh, just keep on trucking. So, 
Now, if you, uh, you, the audience, have anything you want to see other than that stone thrower coming to take a look at my very lovely city, I might have to repurpose my clubman. Oh, he's just probably going to walk around. That's pleasant. Oh, oh, wait, that's probably his bonuses. Yeah, protect a Vindrill one. Well, Biscuit. Yes, Biscuit. Uh, I should be able. I should be fine. That is a strength one guy, and he's just going to completely ignore my existence. I am completely...